This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we'll be talking about flip toggle switches. These are, I think, my favorite jQuery mobile object. If you want to follow along, make sure to open flip toggle switches.html from your working files folder. Here's what the syntax looks like. We have a select, and we set its data role equal to slider. And inside of the select, we put different options. Now we can only put two options for a flip toggle switch. So there's our markup. If I go over here and I refresh, you can see that we have a nice toggle switch. The reason this is my favorite is I love watching it slide back and forth. It's just a very, very cool rendering effect. So let's talk about our different options. First off, this is the value that will be selected in this select. So if you're using that value with JavaScript in your application, that's what you're gonna get back. And then of course, this is the text that displays inside of our element here. Here's one of our options. If we want to talk about the CSS required to do this, we can right click on this guy and say inspect element to take a look at him. And this is actually a good way to figure out how this works. If you're really interested in CSS, it's a great idea to take a look at how they actually built these elements. Now what we may want to do is make this slider perhaps a bit longer. So the entire slider is this guy right here. Now you may notice jQuery mobile hides the actual select item and creates all of these divs and spans to represent the actual element. In this way, the user may not actually be interacting directly with the object, but ultimately it doesn't really matter too much. So here's our object, and you can see it has a width of 5M. Now if we change this, you'll notice that the object gets longer. So there it is. Now, if we want to change the object using our CSS, this is how we do it. Up here at the top, I'm going to make a style tag. And we're going to put a rule in here. You can say dot UI slider switch width, and you can specify a width. So I could say 300 pixels and save this. Now, typically you don't wanna just globally change the width of all of your sliders. Typically you wanna do it inside of a particular container. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this form a class of foo, and then up here, I can say dot foo dot UI slider switch. Now I'm only talking about slider switches within that form called foo, or any other form that has a class of foo. And now if I refresh, sure enough, we have a nice wide element. And that's pretty cool. Now you can always modify the HTML of any of these elements however you would like to. Just make sure you understand how they're rendering what they're rendering before you go changing it. You don't wanna have unintended consequences somewhere else in your application. So that concludes this movie about flip toggle switches.